And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for June 9th. Tropical Depression Cristobal continues to move inland now over the state of Arkansas and Invest 98W could become a significant tropical cyclone for the Philippines and beyond in the next seven days. Day 161 of the year, day 9 in the Atlantic hurricane season, two 10% areas that we've still got marked there, one of them at the National Hurricane Center also have marked, Tropical Depression Cristobal moving inland towards the north. Day 26 in the Eastern Pacific and we've still got nothing marked on the radar there. Um, of course we've had Amanda already but no real traditional early season storm trains in sight just yet. Invest 98W however looks like it will develop and strike the uh, northern part of the Philippines in the next uh, four or five days before moving on into the South China Sea. No systems are active in the southern hemisphere as you would imagine. Uh, the animations for the year just gone by expected in the next two weeks. So we're going to focus in on Invest 98W. It's uh, just off the coast of the southern part of the Philippine Islands, 159 miles east of Siagao Island. Um, and the Visayas region just off to the north there, 9.8 degrees north. And it's likely to uh, just graze Samar and then move on towards the north. And then what we could be seeing is some rapid development towards day three and four, maybe to typhoon status. And if not the first time, then perhaps the second time when we get to that 120 hour point there. Cristobal moving inland there. You can see it right now moving uh, towards the north. And some people said earlier today that it did look better than it ever did out at sea over land today. You can also see what may become our next system just east of Bermuda there. A 10% chance, still rather low uh, amount of possibility there. And as the Gulf of Mexico, uh, very bare now after the passage of Cristobal. The Eastern Pacific. Generally fairly quiet, but you can still see some tropical thunderstorms which won't develop into fully fledged cyclones. So certainly some uh, areas out at sea that are experiencing some tropical um, thunderstorms, but nothing that's going to get organized. We're still waiting for that next system. In the Western Pacific, of course, 98W quite clearly seen there, just east of the Philippine Islands in between there and Palau. 60% chance as we say in the next five days as it moves towards the northwest. Nothing else out there in the western Pacific right now, but you can see again a lot of heavy weather around the uh, Ryukyu Islands. Southern Pacific looking uh, fairly quiet now. Um, the last of any convection near Vanuatu has died off near Fiji and nothing really going on at all there. The Indian Ocean, there is uh, quite a bit of thunderstorm activity that's trying to wrap around. A very broad area in the Bay of Bengal could develop in the next day or two, but probably won't become a tropical cyclone. Sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific are fairly warm, but you can definitely see that cool pool to the south there near the equator. That's very indicative of the La Nina conditions that are prevailing there. Gulf of Mexico much cooler after the passage of Cristobal down to 26, maybe a little lower in one or two places. But the Atlantic itself is looking fairly warm, certainly compared to what we usually see. The North Indian Ocean, 30 degrees plus out over the open waters. And it's the same story in the uh, South China Sea and in the Philippine Sea, which is a uh, 30 degree isotherm continues to expand as you would expect at this time of year very conducive for further storms. You can see there the uh, dark blues there, uh, La Nina in the eastern Pacific if nowhere else because everywhere else appears to be above average apart from the Gulf of Mexico uh, which has been put below average thanks to Cristobal which is still alive but as you can see very broad, uh, always has been very broad after that Mexican landfall, very curious system to watch as it has been moving along. Uh, still got a rather low pressure. Winds won't be a concern for this but we're still looking out for potential flooding worries and indeed for the potential of small scale severe weather. Maybe tornadoes and uh, severe thunderstorms that could knock out power and cause some structural damage. 
you can see they're continuing to move towards the north and still very tropical as well it could remain tropical all the way up towards the Great Lakes region where it will eventually turn post tropical and gain some more intensity as it moves over the Great Lakes and then towards Canada and towards eventually the uh, Hudson Bay um, we don't have models for 98W yet, so we're sticking with Cristobal, although there isn't very much to see. What you will notice there is the HMON calling for it to intensify substantially after it turns post-tropical. That's because wind shear is extremely high, and that will... Wind shear is good for extra-tropical cyclones, terrible for tropical storms. Sea surface temperatures, of course, won't be there. Uh, relative humidity is average, and you can see the tracks there laid out in front of us. So the western part of Illinois up towards Wisconsin and beyond into uh, the Michigan, northern part of Michigan, and then over Lake Superior. So you can see the forecast there from the HWRF and then the HMON models there, number one and two. On this day, June the 9th, 1958, Typhoon Rita was active in the Western Pacific, 32P down in the uh, South Pacific, a tropical storm, and a hurricane in the Eastern Pacific 1E, along with another tropical depression uh, near Okinawa. So a lot was going on on that day in history. The next name on the Atlantic naming list this June the 9th will be Dolly in the Eastern Pacific. We're still looking out for Boris. In the Central Pacific, the next name on the list one on list one is Hone, and 28 storms have formed so far around the world. In the Western Pacific, if that next system does form, the international name on list three is Nuri. In the North Indian Ocean, the next name on list one is Gatti. In the Southern Hemisphere, the Australian region, uh, Imogen is the next name on that list. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, Kundai, and in Fiji. Yolanda is next up there on this Tropical Weather Bulletin and we'll be back again tomorrow with another, of course. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.